Short sale information. Short sale specialist discusses the possibility of a deficiency judgment in California. You heard that right. Looking for short sale information, you've come to the right place. Mike Wrigley, certified default advocate, distressed property expert, and your short sale specialist here. Thanks for joining us. Hey, today let's talk about the possibility of a deficiency judgment in California. Now, what you say, I thought SB 458 took care of that and California law. But according to trusted advisor and real estate law attorney Stephen J. Beatty at BPE Law, the possibility of deficiency in California is still possible under certain loan types. Steve writes in his July 2, 2012 blog, and I quote, In 2010, the California Association of Realtors created a new disclosure addressing homeowner liability after foreclosure, which actually included references to short sale as well. In that disclosure, Carr noted that these California laws might not preclude deficiency liability on loans insured or guaranteed by VA or FHA. Carr's analysis was apparently based upon two federal cases, Herlong Sierra Homes, Inc. v. U.S. 1966 and U.S. v. Rossi 1965. However, in both these cases, foreclosure occurred in federal court, not California, and therefore California's protections did not apply. Now, Steve continues with, and I quote, the recent communication being circulated uh, refers, cites another federal case, uh, Carter v. Derwinski, 1993, which addressed whether a state prohibition against recourse, such as SB 458, could bar the VA from suing for deficiency after a state foreclosure action. The court said that the VA did, did have this right based on the fact that in a loan, the VA separately guarantees the lender from loss on the loan. Therefore, if there is a loss, VA has recourse against the borrower on the guarantee, on the guarantee but not the loan itself. Significantly, the court had, was very divided on its decision. And similarly, in 1998, another federal court relying on the Carter case ruled that Farmers Home Administration, FMHA, had the deficiency recourse following an Arizona trustee sale which is U.S. versus Rosanico. Now, Steve goes on to say, and I quote, although my research to date has not discovered an FHKA, FHA case with a similar holding, the rationale in both cases above would lead to a similar conclusion for FHA insured loans. In summary, if the loan is guaranteed or insured by the federal government, the federal agency may pursue deficiency recourse regardless of the state's laws barring recourse after a trustee sale. Whether that same result would occur after a short sale is not at all clear. It does not appear to have been decided in any cases as of yet." Unquote. Now, many of you have FHA and VA loans. Are there grounds for concern? Sure there is. The key to the process is getting the short sale approval letter that specifically states, and I quote, the debt is being settled for less and the lender is waiving the right to seek a deficiency. Unquote. Now, to date, all of our FHA and VA short sale approvals have had this verbiage. Again, not all short sale specialists are the same. Make sure that yours is your short sale specialist is aware of these terms. And if you need a good real estate attorney, call BPE Law in Sacramento at 916-966-2260. Uh, tell them you heard about it from me. And then, is a short sale right for you? Give me a call. Let's find out. The report is free. Uh, if you have any questions, you give me a call. If you want to know when you're home, it'll be worth what you owe. Log on to www.shortsaleandloanmod.info. Again, I said the report is free, and I'll look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for listening today.